Hello, viewers. It's Hitch and Michael from Screen Review, bringing you a new podcast to my seventh called The Vortel Review. And like always, I speak very loudly, very clearly, and very slowly, in case you don't understand me. Also, I try to do my best not to breach your heart during this audio podcast recording as well, not to call for the audio feedback as well. And finally, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will change your adult language. Once again, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will change your adult language. Now, if you're over 18, that means you get to watch this audio podcast recording. So anyway, with this out of the way, let's do Let's get into the latest episode of Borto. So basically the episode starts off like this. Borto and Miki were still rushing their way to the stadium trying to you know, trying to get there for trying to get to the state stadium for the fight for uh, for the final uh, the final uh, the final phase of the tuning in. But the you know, but it turns out that, you know, Borto um, Borto and Miski's match were supposed to fight each other right now and not and so basically the shit they did haven't showed up yet, you know you know, Naruto Naruto you know, Naruto and you know, Naruto had no choice but to discarify Miski and Borto for not showing up. Now, Naruto said that um, and this whole time there was, there was, you know, this is that match, you know, but they was going to get them the opportunity to show up, you know, before they match began, you know, you know, when the other matches was go, going on, you know, the, you know, Naruto, you know, gave them a chance to show up, but since they, since they match, since they got matched up to fight each other, they have not showed up yet, they got disqualified. So basically, so basically the last match of the two, of the final Phase of the Chinese and comes down to Genki and and Shibake. So basically, you know, so basically, so basically, you know, Miki was sorry to Shibake that you know that Boruto and that Boruto and Miki got their shows to Scarified, you know, and some, you know, and you know, basically, and basically, Diki got the same message that Boruto and Diki got Scarified, not not showing up and whatnot. So basically, like you know, you know, so basically, and both both Diki and Shibake got their shows ready. So basically, Diki has something in his preparation room. We see Diki with a with a brief with this briefcase looked looked like a you know, with the with the hmm, with the logo of the of the Hintley science 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 division on it uh, uh, science division logo on it. So basically, it's gonna be some crazy stuff. So anyway, so anyway, Sabato was. So basically, Shabake, you know, Shabake was talking to Wasabi and Nane, you know, like, you know, wish her good luck and whatnot, you know, hoping that she win, that win, when this, you know, go back and, you know, you know, when this come a tuning and go back to her, go back to the land of iron as a, as a tuning and whatnot. So basically, like, Shabake gained her comrades and she headed towards and she headed towards the stadium and but you know but Nanade and Wasabi was kind of bummed that she is leaving and whatnot. So it's leaving them and whatnot. You know even though they didn't show it in their faces, you know, they kept the chair faces and whatnot, you know. They didn't want to ruin this opportunity to her. So basically so basically then then we cut to see Borto and Michi finally made it to the stadium and and Sarah, uh, 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 and Sarah Sarada, uh, Sarada to um, Sarada told them that you guys are late. Uh, you guys are late. You guys are late. You know, like you know, Bortel and Nisi thought they was on time. You know, they probably made it before they matched. You know, for you know, they probably made it before they got disqualified. But no, Sarada told them that you guys are you guys are so late. You guys got disqualified. So basically, blah blah blah. So oh, damn, you know. Borto and Borto seem bum, but Missy, you know, you know, Missy, you know, being Missy, you know, he 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 didn't seem bum and whatnot. But anyway, Sarada was like telling telling him like you know what the hell happened to you guys in the first place. So basically, you guys were supposed to. 
you know, you guys were supposed to fight and fight each other next. So basically, Boruto and Boruto and Michi was kind of shocked that you know they missed the opportunity to fight each other to see who is gonna be uh, who's gonna be a tuning, <laughs> tuning whatnot. So anyway, so basically, Boruto and Michi made the best of it and watched the match between Deki and and Sabake. So basically, everybody watching a whole little hidden leaf finish watching the watching the final round of the final phase of the team he was in and basically, you know, Chewbacca came out and then Diggy came out with this extra armor <laughs> With this extra armor that he, he had on that, that was just rated by Dr. Koski. So basically, the match began, like, you know, everybody was shocked to see, you know, was shocked to see Dicky in his extra armor and shit, you know, you know, like looking kind of like, mm. Like the extra armor kind of looks like that extra armor that Decker used in that dodgeball episode, kind of. Only difference is, like, you know, he has a visor and whatnot. So, anyway. So basically, like Sabate was like, you know, Sabate was like, hmm, I, 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 like, you know, I figured that you would probably use, uh, probably use a side ticket Ninja Two to, uh, to, uh, to fight me. So basically, Dicky was like, you know, <laughs> was so suave and confident, and the fight began. So basically, turns out, turns out that, turns out this year, this extra scoop can do is using lightning juice. So basically, must say it must say you can Dinky Chaka to do to, to use the lightning juice to make to make to make Dinky more faster and whatnot. So and also the, the, that his bikes can also predict to help to help him predict you know Sabaki's moves and whatnot. So basically, you know Dinky. So basically, Dicky and Dicky and the extra suit that Dr. Koski made was holding his own, was doing a good job against Sabake. So basically, Sabake was like, you know, like you know, who was kind of it was kind of impressive, was kind of impressed with this, and that's so she was kind of impressed with it, and it, it was kind of impressed with Dicky, you know, being so confident and whatnot, using a scientific ninja tool like this. So basically, and that's when, and that's when she. He had that, that's when Chewbacca had a flashback back in you know back in the back in the locker room when he accidentally went the wrong way to towards the battlefield. She oh she overheard she overheard you know she overheard Wasabi and Nomine talking about you know it's gonna suck it's gonna suck with with Chewbacca you know go back to her go back to her country and whatnot you know then you know talking you know overheard she overheard Nomine and Wasabi talking. About you know, you know they're gonna miss, they're gonna miss you, they're gonna miss Chewbacca when she leaves. You know she really felt like a real team member. So basically, you know, you know Chewbacca took that, you know, took that to heart and basically and managed to get the upper hand by using her sword scabbard as a weapon as well. She managed to get the upper hand against Dinky and destroy Dinky's computer visors that was helping him, that was helping him predict, helping him predict, you know, Shabaki's move. So basically, what the, what the computer, what the, what the, what his computer visors, you know, that, that came, in, that was attached to the suit, you know, he couldn't predict any Shabaki's movies anymore, and basically, Shabaki got the upper hand. So basically, bad enough, this, uh, the 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 whole suit, the exoskeleton suit started to over, it started to overheat, and Doctor Costi said that oh, the suit is still, the suit is still, the suit, is still, the, suit is, the suit that Vicky has on is still a prototype, so basically it overheats over, over to be overused, overused, and being overused. So basically, you know, Shabaka was like, you know what, was. <laughs> I'm basically confident that Dinky was over, it was about to finish Dinky right there and right now and win the match. So basically, like, you know, so basically, like, Dinky, you know, like, like, you know, so I can say, like, Dinky, you put out a good fight, but, you know, it's over. So basically, when, when Chewbacca charged at Dinky, sure, Dinky, you know, Dinky, you know, managed to, managed to free himself to his, you know, managed to free himself to his suit, managed to free himself to his suit and basically get a 
a, a, a counterattack, he performed his own white Jesu and, and counterattack and and you know basically used his light to knock out to knock out to knock out Sabaka and win the match. So basically, you know, this he came with a, um, so basically, once they, he dis the suit, he was a, you know dis dis the suit. He he deployed a lightning star juice that knocked Sabaki out and won the match. So basically, this is one of the greatest upsets. In, you know, this was the greatest upset to we ever seen in a team in. So basically, even Naruto, even 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 Naruto was surprised that you know that Dicky was able to pull pull a win over Sabaki. Okay, so basically, you know, you know, and so basically, Dinky, 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 Melody, Dinky, and his teammates celebrated, celebrated his win and whatnot, and and nominated, nominated, and Wasabi to help, 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 help um, you know, help Sabaki into the family room and whatnot. So basically, the team just ended with with, with the with the with the four main winners being Wasabi, being Wasabi Haku, so. And and Dicky celebrating their wins, and you know, and Naruto giving the speech that you guys are all now shooting now. You guys will be you know getting extra responsibilities, more more advanced training and stuff. And basically, that was the final that was the final phase of the tuning in. And basically, it, basically that was it. So anyway, meanwhile, back in the family room, you know, Sawaki came to and came to and and nominated and Wasabi was by her side. So basically, so, so, so basically, you know, she's kind of upset that she underestimated Dinky. So basically, she sworn to to sworn to to do better in the next uni then. So basically, like yo, but you know, but you know, so basically, you are you are go, so basically like you no, know, they say that you know you're gonna come back for the next uni then from your homeland for the next uni then and and but Tavaki say that you know I'm gonna stay here. And, I'm going to stay, I'm not, I, I don't have a request to stay here at the Hidden Leaf Village, you know, for uh, for a little while, a little while longer. So basically, Nanade and and Sabaki was happy that you know that that's uh, I mean Nanade and, and Nanade and Wasabi was happy that Sabaki decided to stay, even though she you know even though she's offered a you know offered a candidacy as a leadership you know has a candidate for a leadership back at the land of the iron. So anyway, meanwhile we see we see Shinji's we see Shinji and his teammates, you know, back on the Thunder Train basically was kind of you know you know headed back home to the sand village. But it turns out that they didn't really came for to see the chimneys in. They came to they came to spot on to spot on Kawaki. So basically, it turns out that you know turns out that uh, that Shinji and his team was the didn't came to see the chimneys in. They just came to see you know came to spot on Kawaki and see what he's capable of. But you know but but but. but Shinji and his team were kind of bummed that they didn't see Boruto in action, you know, they didn't see Boruto fighting during the shooting set. Anyway, as for the rest of everybody, you know, everybody who won, everybody who lost, you know, celebrating with their family and whatnot, and what blah, 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 with their family and friends and Shinji's and whatnot. So basically later that night, we see... We see Naruto at the uh, Naruto at his house talking to talking to Karaki about that. What do you think about the tuning in? So basically, she like she like Karaki. Uh, she like Karaki. She like Karaki wants to. She like Karaki wants to be a cute. Uh, wants to be a tuning. He say he doesn't mind being. Doesn't mind being the guinea. So anyway, so she like Karaki. She like the whole tuning in. Really inspires Karaki to be a. Wants to be a ninja. So anyway. 
<laughs> then we cut to then we cut to late at night. We see we see Boruto and Miki at the stadium saying that you know what you know. Oh, if he would have got here, you know, we post you know and 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 would fight each other. It probably would have been an awesome match. And Miki is like, I agree. So basically, Boruto. So basically, Boruto and Miki decide to go back to the stadium, you know, and see you know and have that match and see who would have won. And basically, and this how the episode ended with Borto, with Borto and Nishi fighting each other, you know, and f figure out or what, and figure out if who would win and 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 the bat who would win who would win the battle between him and Nishi. And this how the episode ended with Borto and Nishi fighting each other, seeing who would win and who would win and, and who would win the fight and become a chi a chini. So basically, this how the episode. And just how the episode ended. So anyway, this was a good episode. So basically, this was a this was a good episode for the for, for the final or for the for the final stage of the Chini Zen. So basically, this was the this whole Chini Zen art was handled very good. So anyway. We got to think about this whole, the final episode of the, of the Chini, of the Chini is an arc for, 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 for the series, for the series. Was it good? Was it bad? Or was it just okay? So, let me know in the comments below. So, like always, this is Michael from Screen View. Sign off. One.